Imagine cooking a meal using nothing but water as fuel. Sounds impossible? Well, today we're diving into how you can build a DIY water-powered stove, an eco-friendly, sustainable solution for off-grid cooking. In this video, I'll show you how it works, how to build one step-by-step, -step, and whether it's a viable alternative to traditional stoves. Let's get started. So, how can water be used to generate cooking heat? The secret lies in electrolysis and hydrogen gas. Using electricity, water, H2O, is split into hydrogen, H2, and oxygen, O2. The hydrogen gas is burned to generate heat. Unlike propane or wood, burning hydrogen only produces water vapor, no harmful emissions. This method is used in hydrogen fuel cells and industrial energy applications. Before we start building, Let's gather the essential materials. You'll need a water electrolysis kit to separate hydrogen from water, a gas collection chamber to store the hydrogen gas, a specialized hydrogen compatible burner, a 12E battery or solar panel to power electrolysis, and safety gear like goggles, gloves, and a well-ventilated workspace. Always use flame arresters to prevent flashbacks when dealing with hydrogen gas. Now, let's assemble the water-powered stove in a few simple steps. First, set up the electrolysis unit by filling the electrolysis chamber with distilled water, connecting the positive and negative terminals to the power source, and starting to generate hydrogen and oxygen gases. Next, collect and store the hydrogen by using tubing to direct hydrogen gas to the sealed collection chamber, ensuring no leaks for safety. Then, connect to the burner by attaching a regulator valve to control the gas flow and connecting it to a hydrogen-compatible burner for cooking. Finally, ignite and cook by carefully opening the gas valve and using a spark ignition system to light the hydrogen flame. Hydrogen burns with a nearly invisible flame, so always use safety measures. Now that we've built the water-powered stove, let's test it. We'll conduct a heat output test to see how fast it can boil water. Check the fuel efficiency to determine how much hydrogen is needed per meal and assess cooking versatility to see if it can handle different types of cooking. For better efficiency, use a catalytic burner to enhance heat output. Like any technology, water-powered stoves have pros and cons. The advantages include being eco-friendly with no carbon emissions, just water vapor, sustainable as it uses water and renewable electricity, and cost-effective since there's no need to buy propane or gas. However, there are limitations such as low energy density. Hydrogen burns fast, requiring frequent refueling, electrolysis efficiency, which requires a steady power supply, and safety concerns since hydrogen is highly flammable and needs careful handling. This system is best for off-grid use, emergency cooking, or sustainable energy experiments. So, where can a water-powered stove be useful? It's ideal for off-grid cooking, provides emergency cooking fuel when gas is unavailable during disaster relief, and serves as a stepping stone toward hydrogen-powered homes. As green energy technology improves, hydrogen cooking may become more mainstream. So, is a water-powered stove the future of sustainable cooking? It's innovative and clean, it works well for off-grid situations, but still has challenges with efficiency and storage. Would you try building one? Drop a comment below. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more clean energy DIYs. And check the description for more resources on hydrogen fuel and sustainable technology.